Hey guys, it's Jason here, Old Car Auto Guy. Thanks for tuning in. Today is Tuesday, Reviews Day. We're messing around with the new Canon camera. Stay tuned. So in this episode of Reviews Day, I am going to try and look at you right here. Not over here, because there's a screen over here that I've never had before. So, having said that, today we are going to be reviewing the 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe. And there you have it guys, there is a semi-detailed view of the interior and exterior of this 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe. And as always, we want to make sure that we're 100% transparent, so we're going to show you a few minor blemishes. On the passenger side rear fender flare, there's a small little scuff right along there, barely noticeable. On the lower rear bumper fascia, there is a scuff there as well. You'll see on the leading edge of the hood here, there are a few minor rock chips that have been touched up to help blend them away. This vehicle is licensed until July and inspected until July of 2019. So let's go on inside and take a more detailed look at the interior. Now I'm not sure if you caught that so I'm going to open the door one more time and you'll listen for that very soothing entry door dinger. almost like you're at the casino. Very soft and soothing. So we are gonna start this up because it's a little bit warm and we're gonna get the AC blowing here. And you'll notice that the little bar lights up so it's red for hot and blue for cold. So we're gonna look for the cold. And there it is, AC on, full tilt. So one of the things I'm always impressed with by Hyundai and Kia products is the number of amenities that they have in just generally their basic vehicles. So for instance, on this Santa Fe, we've got a full amenity of steering wheel controls. As we jump into the gauges, you'll see that it's got full gauge cluster. I've already shown you the air conditioning, but it's also got satellite radio and heated seats for both driver and passenger. Now, a lot of vehicles today, when you get into an entry level, uh, you don't get things like heated seats and a full array of buttons on the dash or on the steering wheel for things like cruise control, volume up and down, steering wheel input sensitivity. So this is some of the things that, that I find that I'm very impressed with this vehicle and it's all laid out very well. 
with only 92,000 kilometers on this 2014 Santa Fe. The interior is in excellent condition. There's no damages, no scratches, no stains. Uh, very good condition for a vehicle of that year. So let's take a look at storage. There's plenty of that in this Santa Fe. We've got a nice big glove box. We've got a mini storage up here on the dash. We come over into the center console and there is some storage down here in front of the shifter, a couple of cup holders and a nice little pocket down in front of the armrest. And as we open the armrest, you've got a nice deep pocket there and a nice shallow tray up top here. And if you look inside there, you will see two powered outlets for 12 volt as well as your auxiliary and USB. And as always, every door has its own cup holder and map pocket. Of course, it does have Bluetooth connectivity, uh, as you can see by the buttons here. And once again, I can verify that because my phone is going crazy. You will notice it does have an active eco button, and we can turn the eco on. And that is indicated by the light on the dash. A lot of people don't understand what the active eco is or what it means or does on a lot of these newer vehicles. Well, simply put, it will optimize shift points, timing, all of that in your vehicle to make sure you're getting the absolute best fuel economy in your vehicle. For this 2014 Santa Fe front wheel drive with the 2.4, I will put the specs for the fuel economy right here so that you can read that. And with the satellite radio, you do get prime country, of course. which can be controlled by the volume controls here on the steering wheel. So for myself, I find that the seating in this vehicle to be quite comfortable, and I've got this set up with the height adjustment to where I want it so that I got good visibility. And now we're gonna hop in the back seat to see what kind of room there is back there for adults. And for a man of my stature, there seems to be plenty of leg room, head room, and enough seating comfortably for four. Although you do have a five passenger seat here in the middle, when there is just four of you, you do have an armrest with some cup holders. Now one thing I did notice is that on the back of the console there's a 12 volt power plug, but no air vents on the side. That is until I was ready to get out of the vehicle and I noticed them here in the B pillar. And when I went to show you how the uh, rear cargo area folds flat with these middle seats, I found out something very neat. Single-handed operation. I can pull the lever here on the side, and everything happens all in one motion. And as we come into the back, you'll see that the floor is not completely flat all the way through, but it is pretty darn close, and you almost double your cargo capacity. And you're probably wondering, why are the floor mats in the back of the vehicle? That's because the previous owner opted to go for the Santa Fe OEM quality rubber floor mats for the front to help protect the driver, passenger, and rear seat passengers. So now that we've done all that, let's go for a drive. But first, we've got to switch over to the GoPro. And as always, safety first. first thing I noticed about this Santa Fe in the four-cylinder variety is that unlike a lot of four-cylinders in most vehicles, you don't hear a whole lot of the engine. Granted, if you're stepping on it, which we're going to do here very shortly, you're going to hear it. But just normal, everyday driving, very quiet, very insulated. Now let's test out the cruise control, make sure that that works. And no surprise there, cruise control works absolutely perfect. Go up through the resume so that we can make sure that it gets up to speed and I hit it two or three times, and it climbs right up there, right up to 100 kilometers an hour. So, we'll get ready for a hard brake and a fast acceleration. It never fails when I go to do the hard brake or the fast acceleration, there's always traffic one way or the other. I never put it into my videos, but I generally have a hard time getting up to speed, and then I gotta worry about someone behind you when you do the fast brake that they're not gonna rear end you. Okay, so there's 100. And it's time for a hard break.
and yes, the ABS works. And this is the point of the video where I normally make mention of whether or not I feel like the brakes have been serviced or not. In this particular case, I know they have because I can see brand new rotors all the way around and the calipers have been fully serviced. So having said that, we'll do a quick acceleration and go up through the gears. just like that 60 mile an hour 100 clicks and I said this back when we did the review on the Kia Rondo that it does not surprise me at how smooth these transmissions shift now I don't know for sure if the Kia Rondo and this Santa Fe share the transmission or not but they feel very similar and very smooth shifting I don't see that in any other manufacturer that we sell and for those of you who are interested, I will put the torque and horsepower rating right up above here. And there you go, guys. There's my review on our 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe front wheel drive. With only 94,000 kilometers, we've got this price to sell at $17,995. Going on for the month of October, if you're in the local area, we're offering every vehicle on the lot, including the Santa Fe, with a $500 discount or your choice of winter tires. So act now because that sale is only good until October 31st. For those of you that notice that I'm wearing my straight six fan, six piston t-shirt, you can get your very own from straight six fan. And I'll leave his information in the comments section below. Guys, my very own old car auto guy t-shirts and hoodies are on sale now. The prices have been reduced. There's only $15 for a t-shirt and $25 for a hoodie. I will leave that link in the description below as well. As always, guys, I really appreciate the fact that you're giving me those big thumbs up, that you're commenting down below, and if you haven't done it already, please consider subscribing by hitting the red subscription button down in the bottom corner of this video. And just like every video, guys, I tell you to stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. God bless. I love you guys. We'll catch you in the next upload.